hello guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be taking you through a diverse range of products that you can obtain from rabbit farming people have been asking why is rabbit farming on a boom it is because of this diverse range of the products that you can be able to harvest from these rabbits so guys in today's video we are going to cover everything from meat and far to manure and to more of these products that we can be able to harvest from these rabbits so guys whether you are a seasoned farmer or just starting out or you're thinking of starting up a farm this video will be able to provide you with that knowledge or that information that will help you be able to maximize things that you can get from your rabbit farm so guys here we are going to explore each product in detail we shall discuss its benefit and we shall show you how to process and market these products effectively to make sure that you get something out of this so guys let's get started the first product that anyone or everyone will think about when it comes to rabbit farming is rabbit meat so rabbit meat is one of the primary product of rabbit farming anyone who thinks of going into rabbit farming in most cases they are going to think of producing rabbit meat so why is this this is so because rabbit meat is highly nutritious it is lean meat it is low in cholesterol and this makes it a popular choice for health cautious individuals or consumers all over the world that is one of the reason why rabbit meat is highly sought out out there in the world so the market for rabbit meat is readily there rabbit meat will fetch a good price compared to all these kinds of meats because of these features we have talked about it is highly nutritious it is lean meat it is low in cholesterol or fats and this is the re one of the reasons why you will find a lot of health practitioners recommending rabbit meat to a lot of their patients because they know this is good meat now when it comes to processing rabbit meat the first procedure in processing rabbit meat is going to start with proper butchering so now guys i'm going to take you through a process of butchering a rabbit this is very important when it comes to the meat processing process of this rabbit meat now guys butchering should be done in a human manner and in a place with a very good hygiene so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ensure that the rabbit is unconscious before you slaughter it so then after doing this then you're going to slaughter the rabbit then after slaughtering the rabbit you're going to skin the rabbit to remove the skin and the internal organs will also be removed so guys rabbit meat can be sold in its natural form as rabbit meat but it can also be processed into other products like sausages it can also be put in burgers and any other product so this explains the readily available market for the rabbit in that you can sell it in its meat form but you can also process it and be able to sell it in all other products now guys when you're going to sell this rabbit meat the highlights that are going to help you in marketing this meat will be highlighting the health benefit of this meat to your consumers so make sure that you're honing on this explaining clearly how healthy rabbit meat is to the consumers so guys another valuable product from rabbit farming is going to be fur now rabbit fur is soft it is warm and it is used in a variety of products that includes in clothes there is rabbit fur in clothes accessories and other crafts so you can be able to rear rabbits and be able to collect fur from it and be able to sell this fur and what i can tell you is rabbit fur fetches a good price within the market but also this will depend on the quality of the fur so make sure that you're taking care of your rabbits very well you're feeding them very well that's when you will harvest quality fur from them then the other thing is that the quality of the fur may also depend on the breed that you're rearing and how you're raising this rabbit what i previously talked about as the care of these rabbits you're looking at the diet the living environment of this rabbit is also going to determine the quality of the fur so breeds like the rex the angora these are known for their superior for quality 
So if you want to go into rabbit farming for fur production, then you should be looking at breeds like the Rex. This will give you superior fur that will fetch a good value within the market. So now guys, how do you harvest this fur from the rabbit? Now there are two methods that I'm going to go through here, which you can use to be able to harvest this rabbit fur. So one is shearing, then you have plucking. Now let's start with shearing. Now shearing is commonly used for the Ankara rabbits and this involves trimming the fur close to the skin which is then spun into yarn and used in textile. So here you're removing the fur close to the skin. You're going close to the skin of the rabbit and removing this fur. That is what we call shearing and this fur is used in different kinds of textile in clothes so the market is readily available then when you look at plucking plucking involves gently removing the loose fur here the word is loose fur by hand so here you're just plucking the fur from the rabbit but you're plucking the loose the loose fur from the rabbit it is done during the natural molting period and yields a higher quality product so those are the two ways you can be able to harvest this fur from your rabbits. So guys, after you have harvested this fur, you're going to clean it, you're going to sort it, and then you're going to process it. That's when it will hold a lot of value within the market. So it can be turned for use in garments or spun into yarn. So now guys, when you're marketing this rabbit fur, you are going to focus on the quality and the craftsmanship targeting a niche market. So here you're going to be looking at high-end fashion specialty crafts. You're going to be looking at these fashion-minded people who are creating these special kinds of fashion garments or clothes. And I can tell you this will be able to fetch you a good price. If you have prepared this far very well, your rabbits are in good health condition. You have taken care of them very well. You have cleaned this far. It is clean you will be able to fetch a good price within the market. So the other product that you can get from rabbit is going to be the rabbit pelts. These are also valuable products from rabbits. These are often used for clothing or clothing accessories. They're also used for home decoration items. So guys, how are you going to process this? This will take you a few steps to be able to prepare this. The first thing is you're going to remove any remaining flesh or fat from the hide so remember after removing this hide or skinning the rabbit so you get that hide that you have removed from the rabbit so you're going to remove any meat left on on that hide after you have removed any meat or fat from it you're going to apply some salt to the hide to draw out all the moisture and also preserve the hide. Then guys, after that, you're going to soak the hide in a solution of acid and salt to prepare it for tanning. Now, after you have prepared it for tanning, then you're going to stretch and soften the leather. Then you will finish it as you desire. So that's the process of processing the rabbit pelts. And this you can get when you slaughter your rabbit. If someone wants a rabbit for meat, you will remove that skin, you will sell them the rabbit, and you remain with that skin, which can help you create this rabbit pelts. Now, the finished pelts can be used to make a variety of products, such as gloves, you can make hats, you can also make trims of coats. So there is a wide range of products that you can be able to get from this. So also these you can be able to sell to these fashion people who are into fashion and coming out with those outfits. Then the other product that you can get from the Angora rabbit specifically is the, the rabbit wool. Now Angora rabbits produces a special type of wool that is soft, it is warm, and it is highly prized within the textile industry. So remember we looked at this, you can use the two methods of harvesting this wool. You can use regular grooming or you can use shearing. So for shearing, the Angora wool, it is done every after three months. So every after three months, you can do the shearing. The wool is carefully removed, trimmed to avoid injuring the rabbit and collected for processing. So you remove it gently so that you do not harm the rabbit. The wool is then cleaned and spun into yarn. Now this can be used for knitting, 
it can also be used for weaving now the angora wool products will include things like sweaters socks scarves and so many others and these products will fetch a good price within the market so guys the other product that is common from rabbit farming is the rabbit manure rabbit manure is an excellent fertilizer rich in nitrogen phosphorus and potassium actually rabbit manure is highly used and highly sought of within the farming sector it is often referred to as the cold manure because it does not need composting before use so rabbit manure can be used directly in gardens to improve soil fertility it's especially good for vegetable gardens and flower beds so if you are into flower beds and vegetable gardens this is the manure you should be looking for it is readily available just look for rabbit farmers you will be able to get this manure now collecting rabbit manure is straightforward you simply clean the droppings from the hatch or cage and you apply them to the garden don't need rocket science here you just collect them if you have a wire mesh make sure that you have below the cage something where the manure will drop where you will be able to collect it from you can also compost it for richer soil amendment but it can still work even if it is not composted now rabbit manure can be packaged and sold to gardeners and farmers at a good price so if you own a rabbit farm do not throw this rabbit manure you can use it yourself in your garden if you have a garden but you can keep this manure and be able to sell it at a good price so the other product that we can get from rabbit is the rabbit urine and also this will act as manure and it is also a valuable byproduct from rabbits it can also be used as a potent organic fertilizer and pest repellent this rabbit urine can be able to repel pests but also as i've already said it can be used as manure so collecting rabbit urine will evolve you placing a collection tray or something to collect the rabbit urine under the cage so if you do not put something it will just fall on the ground and it will go into the ground so make sure that you have put something to be able to collect this rabbit urine the urine is then diluted and sprayed on plants to provide essential nutrients and also will act as a repellent of pests to these plants so rabbit urine is highly important and you should be able to collect it on the farm and you can sell it at a good price they are within the market to use rabbit urine as a fertilizer you have to dilute it with water and here i can provide you a ratio it should be like one to ten then spray it on your plants to boost the growth and health and as a pest repellent it can be applied around the garden perimeter you apply it around the garden perimeter to keep away rodents and insects so you can see that rabbit urine is highly important when it comes to farming it can be able to keep away a lot of rodents from your gardens or from your store you can also spray it around your store to keep away these rodents and these insects then the last product from the rabbits is the rabbits itself this is what we call selling breeding stock this is another profitable aspect of rabbit farming so here you're going to be selling rabbits themselves to other rabbit farmers or to other people who want to start a rabbit farm high quality rabbits with desirable traits can be sold to another farmer or to another person who is the lover of rabbits and you make money out of this now to produce high quality breed stock you should focus on the health and genetics and the desirable traits such as size fur quality and the temperament now i'll be doing another video here on the channel about the rabbit genetics i'll be going into details in that so make sure that you keep watch of that video it is going to be coming on the channel soon so here to produce high quality breed rabbits you're going to take a look at the health of the rabbits the genetics the size the quality and the temperament of rabbits if you're going to be selling your rabbits for pets then you are going to look for rabbits without a temperament if you're going to be selling your rabbits for meat production you're going to look at rabbit breeds that are large in size 
so before you start your farm you have to first identify why you're starting a rabbit farm and what you're going to be producing on your rabbit farm this will inform the type of breeds that you bring onto your farm so guys in addition to the primary products that we have looked at from rabbits rabbits can also provide various byproducts including the bones and the organs this can be processed and put in pet foods so this can work as foods for pets so things like rabbit bones and organs they are highly nutritious they can be processed into pet food now this does not only provide an additional revenue stream but it also assures that no part of the rabbit goes to waste so even the bones from these rabbits if you have eaten the rabbit you are a restaurant you're serving rabbit meat those bones can as well be processed into pet food so you're throwing nothing to waste so processing these bones will evolve of course grinding them then you can mix them with other ingredients to produce a ballast pet food then of course you have to package them this will also assist you in marketing if they are well packaged then you can be able to get market and be able to sell these byproducts from the rabbit but this will require compliance with food safety standards so make sure that you know this and your pet foods or after processing these bones they meet the standards of food safety in your locality where you're operating from now guys i'm going to give you a tip on how you can effectively market and sell most of these products and be able to maximize profits from rabbit farming this is one of the drawbacks when it comes to rabbit farmers in that they do not know how they can be able to sell their rabbit products from their farm to customers and be able to make a good profit from it now what i would advise you is to directly sell to customers maybe at a farmer's market or to a restaurant will allow you to connect with the customer and then you will be able to promote your products benefit so here you can offer samples you can engage the customers they tell you feedback and you'll be able to improve your product so go to the customer do not use middlemen middlemen are going to cheat you so as a farmer go direct to the market interact with customers get the feedback communicate and create that loyalty relationship between the customers and you'll be able to sell then also utilize online platforms e-commerce this will provide you a broader reach so with e-commerce or online platform you will be able to sell even outside the boundaries of your location or your country so make sure that you set up an e-commerce website or platform and this will help you to reach a large audience of customers throughout the world that's why that's why you will see farmers selling their products their rabbit meat to different continents the farmer is in africa is selling his product in asia is selling in the united states so it gives you a wider audience to be able to sell and market your products then the other thing is you can collaborate with local restaurants this is an easy one you go through your location see the restaurants that are there ask them if they are interested in putting rabbit meat on their menu and if it is so you supply them with some rabbit samples and if it picks up then you can be able to supply them so now guys before we conclude this i am going to give you some final tips and best practices to ensure success in rabbit farming so guys the first tip i can give you is that you should focus on high quality care and management to produce the best product so if you're not taking good care of your rabbits do not expect a good product from them if you want your products to be extremely good make sure that you're giving the best care to your rabbits then the other thing is you should stay informed remember information is wealth so stay informed about the market trends and the customer preferences so if you know what customers want you will be able to produce that and put it in the market and everyone will be earning for it the mistake that farmers make is that they are producing something that customers do not want so make sure that you go there in the market and identify what the customer wants and produce it you will be able to sell 
then the other thing is you should diversify your product range this will help you to maximize your revenue do not stay on, on only one thing don't produce rabbit meat only you can produce manure you can process this rabbit meat and produce sausages you can produce rabbit urine you can produce pet food from rabbit bones so make sure that you diversify your product line to be able to reach a wide range of customers if someone doesn't want to eat rabbit meat they can eat rabbit sausage they can buy pet food for their pets at home so you see that you're creating that chain and you are able to explore different kinds of customer niches within the market and there you're getting revenue from all the products that you're producing on your farm then the other thing is you should network with other farmers this is very important don't be an island on your own network with other farmers get in touch with industrial professionals they will share this knowledge and they will share opportunities and this will be able to help you so guys with this by exploring the diverse products from rabbit farming you can enhance your farm's profitability and sustainability so guys we hope this guide or this video has provided you with valuable information and knowledge and this will help you in running and earning from your rabbit farm so guys thanks for watching and if you have any other topic that you would love us to cover please leave it within the comment section below if you have any other question that you would want us to answer please also leave it down there within the comment section below so guys do not forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more informative videos and guys as always i'll see you in the next video